Yeah, the camera is on a two axis gimbal, so it's stabilised upwards, down, and side to side. It's a bit like a spring. To keep the battery in, we've got an extra clip on it, because um, once we had an accident where the battery fell out. It's midsummer, and Gloucester filmmakers are on location at Wainloads on the River Severn. In strong light and if flying fast and at low levels, the amount of motion blur in individual video frames can be increased by using a neutral density filter. Safety is a vital aspect of using a drone. And this evening we also hope to learn how we can make our drone filming more cinematic and how and why we may need to use camera filters. Okay, so when you start it up, it needs to find satellites and you want to fly with at least 10 satellites so as you've got a nice firm GPS so in case it was to dis disconnect from the controller it knows where to fly home. It registers where it's taken off and in the event... So I've currently got 18 satellites so I am fine to go. On monthly high tides, the Seven Boar now meets weirs at both Lantony and at Maysmore, but the tidal thrust of the rising tide carries as far as Upper Lode near Tewkesbury, resulting in a temporary reversal of the river flow. In the late 18th century, the first Bolton and Watt engine to be delivered to the Cotswolds would have passed down here in a sailing vessel. Strong reflections can make the screen difficult to see and switching on the zebra hatching can greatly assist. It says this, press it up to there. It makes sure you switch both the remote control and the drone on by pressing the on-off button on both devices. You will notice the on-off button on both devices will flash red to pair. Move the, thumb the left thumbstick up and then down. Oh, they've gone solid. Right, fair enough. It is tempting to watch the flight through the controller screen but very important to keep a keen eye on the location of the drone, referring back to the screen for fine-tuning composition. That's just okay. tells you when you do things. Do you want to catch it, Jan? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> well the Severn has inspired poets, artists and musicians. This evening it has inspired us. <laughs> 